Hi everybody, it's Chandre from Chandre Does. Um, it's been a hot minute, or maybe a hot year or two since I've done one of these. But yeah, welcome back to my very first paint with me in I think about three years. Um, if you did catch my stream the other night, I did a completely different painting on my Twitch channel, which I'm going to be trying to do every Thursday night for a little while. Hopefully, for a longer than a little while, but yeah, you get the drift. So yeah, this is my first proper watercolour painting that isn't a mountain or a basic watercolour exercise in a while. I've realised I'm a little bit rusty, hope you can forgive me for that. At the same time, it's a good thing to sometimes paint and create even when you're rusty because people get out of the habit and getting back into the habit is sometimes the hardest part of the whole creating process, the fear of white paper. So this is... I think they're called sea urchin shells, but they called sea pom funkies in Afrikaans. Um, they're my favorite shells. They're usually green in South Africa. I haven't really seen them in different colors, but while I was researching pictures to make sure I got the shapes and the proportions right, I noticed you get them in pink. So if you do know where you get them in pink, please let me know. I'd love to go see them in actual person in pink. If your country's like mine and you're not allowed to collect shells off the beaches anymore, it would be great to be able to travel one day when all of this is over and go see pink seashells. So the materials I'm using for this is the Lucas Aquafine watercolours. I use the magenta, the cadmium red, the cadmium yellow and I used a little bit of Payne's grey which is my favourite colour on the planet and a little bit of blue. I can't remember what shade of blue I used, but I used a little bit of a blue uh, just to give some depth and make a purple from the paint spray and the blue. Actually, I think I used the paint spray as my blue <laughs> to make the purple. I think that's what I ended up doing. Looking at my palette, yes, that's definitely what I landed up doing. The very fine color you see me putting on in the very beginning is from my Sakura Koi palette. The rest of the painting is done only in the Lucas Aquafine colors as well as a little bit of white gouache paint, also a Lucas white gouache. You may notice that the board I'm painting on is a chopping block. My watercolour board got rained on while I was busy sealing it, so it's just busy drying. Um, so this was the block I had and I'd rather protect my desk. Uh, so that's why it's a chopper bamboo truck chopping block. So this is my painting. I didn't realize at the very end my camera battery had died so the last little bit of footage is missing but you can see the final picture at the very end. It's not hugely different, all I did was I added a little bit more of the dot technique to give some depth to the painting. So you can see that but you can also see how I do the dot technique. So if you want to paint this at home it's actually quite a simple easy painting to do. Um, getting back into watercolor I decided not to do too much hard paintings uh, because yeah I'm out of practice so hmm. so how many of you guys are in lockdown in your various countries uh, we're in 21 day lockdown hopefully it's only going to be 21 days but at this point our trust and faith is in our president and if he says it's longer then it's longer if you are in the position of staying home and looking after your loved ones please do if you're like me and suddenly the stuff you usually do, like your day job, isn't really happening anymore and you've started creating to keep your hands busy, I'd love to see what you've been doing. Um, I read somewhere that a lot of people are getting upset with creators for starting YouTube channels or po posting more work as if nothing's going on. I think it's not really an ostrich thing, it's more of a everyone needs to do something and keep their hands busy. You can't just be in a constant state of panic, so I think that's what's going on with a lot of creators, especially I know that's what's going on with me, is suddenly I have all this time on my hands. I have skills that I haven't used, been able to use in a very long time, so I'm enjoying the process of being able to sit down and paint. It doesn't mean I'm not extremely concerned about those around me and those I care about, but I don't have the skill set to do anything about this epidemic or well, pandemic. So what I can do at home is create content and hopefully it gives you a little bit of mindless escapism. I'm not going to go too much on about this. I do want to know if you're suddenly sharing an office or a space with your spouse or partner, how's that going for you? <coughs> um, for us it's been going pretty well. We 
so I hopefully 21 days of lockdown isn't going to drive both of us too crazy. But so far it's going quite well. The cats are, I think, the ones going a little bit crazy with the humans being home all the time. So I'm going to stop talking now. I uh, hope you have a lovely time. I've, been, I've never asked this before, but please consider liking and subscribing and sharing with your friends. Ciao for now. Bye.